Good morning. It is Friday, June 23rd, 2023, 6.52 a.m. in my locale. Current temperature is about 85 degrees. It is humid. Welcome to a subtropical region, right? So that's what's happening. Yesterday, let's see what happened. Uh, well, I went out on one of the smaller boats with the captain, and then all of a sudden a huge storm popped up. Just, we knew it was coming, but we thought it was going to skate around us. No, it hit us full force. So I got off of that boat, and that tour was cut short because of the lightning. I got off that boat. I was soaked. Again. I then walked over and decided to work on, you know, talk to somebody else in the, in the booth. Uh, started working on some houseboats. Got that done. And then in, as soon as that was done... Uh, turned around and started helping my boss move those houseboats. We have some renters today. And then went out for a 3 o'clock tour with about 15 people. Weather was fine. Lots of crocs because, you know, all the rain, then the humidity, then the whatever. So that was kind of nice and fun for those people. Got home to the kids, right? And everybody was good and groovy. Uh, we had our dinners. And then last night... Uh, Bodie was a little up and down and up and down and up and down, so they... Queso was easy. He does this thing where he just grabs my other pillow, which is five times his size, crawls underneath it, and goes, yeah, it's my house. Um, this one was just a little up and down, up and down. Uh, so I kept looking around, getting up and seeing... Maybe he was seeing something. Maybe we had a frog in the house. Maybe we had a mouse in the house. Maybe we had a python in the house. Who knows? Nothing. And then at some point in time, about 3 o'clock in the morning, I said to him, I'm going to get up and use the toilet. Queso was out. He was zonked. And I came back to the bed and, yep, little pile right on it. Hmm. Didn't get angry at him because I'm still learning his language. When he goes to the edge of the bed and he looks down, he's trying to figure out how to get off of there. And I'm trying to pad train him because he doesn't want to do that. So that was my fault. I should have put him down, put him on the pad, and then went to the bathroom. So, lesson learned. Uh, about 4.30 this morning when I woke up, I took the comforter and went to the laundry, washed it, came back and put it on the bed, and then put the crates on it. My fault. So, no anger at that dog at all. He was, he's trying to teach me, and I have to listen. Okay, and then let's see. After that, the air conditioner's starting to get wonky. I'm not sure what's up. Uh, I don't know if it's a temperature thing, differential thing. I know I've been talking about replacement of this device because it's about eight years old. And it's probably due. Um, so I'm talking to our RV guy about that. He sent me a price. Not bad. He'll come out here and do it. Not bad. And, you know, it's a little high priced. I wish my other AC guy was here. I had to make some phone calls. Um, I want to talk to him tonight because, like I said, it just keeps sticking too much. Like, the fan seizes up, and I don't know if the fins are frozen or what's going on. But, I mean, it's still blowing cold air. It's blowing cold air right now. Um, and it's it's keeping temperature. It's just it seems to seize up, and I don't know the why. And I'm thinking that what happens is as it cycles, those fins get cold. And then those fins get frozen, and obviously they, they're they overcharged and they can't run. And then you have to turn the air conditioner off for a little bit for the fins to thaw out, and then they start all over again. Wouldn't it be nice if I didn't have to worry about that? So I'm going to talk to the RV guy, and we're going to see what we can do. Uh, again, the price is not unreasonable. So let's go right to our daily Zen poem. Leaves fluttering before the wind, how to convey their splendor. I know this stone pagoda with my entire body, and laugh at the changes of earthly life. Fugaya Kun, 1568-1654. Hmm. I guess what he's saying is he's happy where he is. And he loves it completely. And then he watches the stuff going on outside and he's like, screw it, I'm happy. This guy sounds like a hermit. I get on with this guy. He's all right. Remember, hermits meet once a year on the 30th of February. Their lunch is not provided. We also don't give you the location. So, let's see, we're going to go over to our daily rune book. Oh, so like I said, my sleep was a little busted. Um, didn't take any melatonin, so the dreams were a little weird, but not 
what they were on the melatonin. Uh, they still dreaming about people that I had to leave behind. I'm never going to see again. I haven't seen in years. I really wish I had a bigger brain to talk to that could tell me why. Right? I would love it. I would love it. I would love it if they could tell me the why. Why am I dreaming about these people? Why am I? Why are they in my head? I know I had to let them go, and it's not the first time I've had to let people go. So why are they coming back into my brain when I'm trying to sleep? Uh, one person I spoke to said to me, well, it's because they're thinking about you. And I said, well, that's horseshit. Because if they were thinking about me, they'd pick up a phone. They'd call me. They'd say, I got a problem. They haven't. So either they've graduated to the point they can solve their own problems, which means I am successful, or that also means that, as I said before, somebody has poisoned that well and they are not calling me. And that's also fine. Um, I wish them happiness. I wish them good health. I wish them all the positive things in the world. We had a good time when we were together. And now our time has done and they have to go on on their own. I always live with a little bit of dread that one day there's going to be a knock at that door and I'm going to open that kitchen window and take a look well, because I'm smart I have a weapon in every single place I can reach grab that, go to that door look out the window and there's going to be somebody there that I don't want to see you know, there's going to be somebody I'm like, no, no, you go away now you're not getting let in I don't even know how you got here and how you found me out so, there is that double-edged sword Rune. That's the rune of flow. Remember yesterday was the rune of ice. That was Isa. This is the rune of flow. This is Wunjo, which we have pulled before. Just so you know, we pulled it in its upright position. Okay. Unseen powers are here. Power. I'm sorry, it is not Wunjo, it is Laguz. Unseen powers are here. Powers that nourish and shape and connect. The effort, the attributes of this room are water, fluidity, the ebb and flow of emotions, of vocations and relationships. This room fulfills your desire to immerse yourself in the experience of living without having to evaluate or understand. Well, look at the guy who's living in a stone pagoda and loves it with his whole body, right? The satisfaction of emotional needs, which I don't have really any besides the kids here. And the awakening of the intuitive or lunar side of your nature. Well, it's getting near a full moon. The sun is the differentiation. The moon is union emerging. Signs of cleansing, reevaluating, reorganizing, realigning. Yes, I don't know about you, but that attic is starting to get me a little crazy. And I keep looking at it, opening the curtains, and going, I got to get rid of some stuff. And we talked about this yesterday. I got to get rid of the water bath canner. I got to get a pressure canner. I got to figure out what to do with those papers my scanner is simply way too big and I just want to I might have to break down and go to a FedEx or something and just say scan it all and then just you know just do it and then just be done get an external hard drive somewhere because I really doubt somebody's going to come after me for my tax returns for 2009 right uh, rune of Deep Knowing, Laguz called you to study spiritual matters in readiness for self-transformation. The success is lying in your intuitive knowing and attuning to your own rhythms. Yeah, no kidding. That was me last night. This guy, you know what? It seems like around 1.32 o'clock, he just finally goes, I really want to get comfortable. And that's when he... Remember, I've been married a couple times. I live with the most beautiful woman in the world. This dog, the, the little dog just takes a pillow. This dog sleeps directly in the center of the bed and pushes me to one side or the other. Not the first time in life. It's a rune of the self relating rightly to the self. It's what they call the conjunctio or the sacred marriage. It's where the hero and heroine live happily ever after. Wouldn't that be nice? Remember, we sit, we meditate, we pray every day that the most important person in my world will get better and I will see her and hear her once she is well every day little book oh we read that one 
Wow, that's a long passage. No, we're not going to do that. That is a very long passage. There we go. To travel a thousand kilometers without becoming fatigued, traverse unoccupied terrain. I like that. To ensure taking the objective and attack, strike positions that are undefended. To be certain of an impregnable defense, secure positions that the enemy will not attack. Go to the places they aren't. Thus, when someone excels in attacking, the enemy does not know where to mount his defense, because that's where they aren't. When someone excels at defense, the enemy does not know where to attack. So subtle as it approaches the formless, so spiritual it attains the soundless, this can act as the enemy's master of fate. We're going to do it in reverse, because these guys are asleep. Okay. Poem. A simple living, okay, he can't explain how beautiful it is to be in his space. The rune tells us that there's a reorganization and realigning in your space somewhere today. Me, yesterday was like standstill. Same thing for me. I didn't get a lot of forward progress. I just kept moving forward. And then our little book tells us that the best way to win is to find the places they aren't, and then they can't figure it out. I think that's pretty good. I hate to wake him. Can I wake you? I need to wake you. You're going to get sleepy face. Your obligatory case of you. What would you like for breakfast, ham and egg? Would you like ham and egg? I'm sorry I woke you. I will put you back. Bodie, come here. And now your quiet moment of Bodie. Your feet smell like Fritos. It's a Chihuahua thing. They, they all do that. Right? You got anything to say to everybody, Bodie? Okay. All right. I will fix that. So today is Friday, so it's work, right? Um, what's going to happen? I don't know. Uh, I'll be with Captain Nick. Uh, we have two people coming into those houseboats. I don't know if one's leaving. I think they are. Um, I don't like going into the room where all the planning stuff is, other than to get my radio in the morning and get out as fast as possible, because as far as I'm considered, that room is a clown car. It is just awful, and I absolutely hate it. So I spend as little time in that little box as possible. Okay. Uh, we may have tours. We may not have tours. I don't know. If we don't have tours, I'm sure they'll find something for me to do. Yesterday, I got so frustrated when I was trying to clean uh, a houseboat that when I was done, out in the middle of the rain, I went to the area that they keep all the cleaning supplies and everything else and threw them out in, just picked them up and heaved them onto the sidewalk and said, yeah, this isn't working and I'm going to fix it again. And my boss came by and he said to me, what are you doing? And I said, it's kind of obvious. And he went, oh, they screwed it up again? I was like, yeah. He's like, all right, you're fixing it? No, I threw everything out on the lawn because I wanted I wanted people to just stop by like a swap meet. Come on. Figure it out. Took care of it. Said thank you. All clean now. And now we're ready to take care of other vessels as they need to be. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed the kids. Air conditioning is working, which is a good thing. I'm going to finish getting dressed, which is the orange shirt you see behind me. And I'm going to tell every single person here to have a fantastic day. Today looks like a day we're going to get something done instead of standing still or small incremental changes. So, get up, get it done, get to work, and remember... 
if you don't take care of you, nobody else will. Thank you, Mom. And are they like-minded? Do they share your values? Do they have something to offer? Um or no to any of these questions, out the door, youngster. You're not tried. Way too late in the day to start trying to help people who are begging for stuff when they don't want to give you anything in return. Or they wish you harm. It's time to get a little more... You want to say defensive? It's time to get a little more offensive. You see somebody coming, you tell them, get out of here. If they're tribe, you get them in as fast as possible when you take care of them. You make sure everything's good. If they have something to offer, well, they're on. Well, we'll let you stick around, but remember, if you let them stick around, you're responsible for that person, whether they do good, bad, or otherwise, because you let them in. And let's face it, the reason the tribes are small is because we don't let everybody in, right? Have a great, successful day. Take care of something cool. If anybody needs me, and you probably know how to find me, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.